Hey there everyone, it's Brian from NaviUpgrade.com and today I've got a quick video where I'm going to show you how to set up the OBD Link EX with your computer and Forescan and how to get the firmware updated so you have the most reliable connection to your car when you're doing programming with Sync 3 and to your body control module and all the other fun things that we can do within Forescan. So let's jump right on into this video and get this device set up with my computer. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go over to obdlink.com slash support slash EX. And now what you're going to see here is we've got a whole bunch of stuff right here. But the first thing we're going to focus on is drivers. So what we're going to do is we're going to download the FTDI virtual COM port driver just by clicking it. And it'll download right there. We're going to wait just a second. We're going to open the file and the folder location. We're going to right click it, we're going to click extract all, and we're going to click extra, oh, let's say show extracted files when completed, we're going to click extract, and now what we can do is we can open up uh, the CDM21228 setup.exe. This might be a newer file by the time you watch this video, uh, so it might have a different name in here. So we're just going to click right click, run as administrator. And I'm not sure if you could see this in the screen recording, but it says user account control. Do you want this? Uh, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? We're going to click yes. All right. So right here we've got a thing that says extract. So we're going to extract it. And now we've got uh, welcome to the device driver installation wizard. Now we just click next. I accept this agreement next and then finish. All right. So that's all you need to do to install drivers for the OBD link EX to your computer. And remember, we haven't installed or connected this thing to our computer yet. So now we're going to do that. Let's just uh, connect to our computer. And we're connected. So the best way to go about doing this is we're going to go to uh, start here and we're going to type in device manager. Device manager. And we've got a window that's going to pop up here. And we go down to ports. So we've got uh, COM and LPT ports here, and we can tell that uh, our OBD link is plugged in because it says USB serial port COM5. So just take a note of which uh, COM port it says USB serial port on because that's your OBD link EX. So we're on COM port 5 on my computer. So now what we can do is we can go to... Um, we can go back to www.obdlink.com slash support slash EX and we can download the latest firmware. So we're going to go download the latest firmware. And I'm going to open this in the new tab. And now we can see that the latest version is version uh, 5.6.19. And if you're curious about which version you're on, you can actually just open up Forescan. And uh, this will actually also tell you uh, which COM port you're on. You can click yes here. And our device is on 5.5.3, which means that it's a bit out of date. Supposedly, Forescan uh, allows you to update the firmware itself, but it looks like there's a, an even newer firmware than what Forescan is offering us here. So let's do that now. We're going to click no here, and uh, we can just disconnect. I'm going to say no, and uh, I'm going to close Forescan. All right, so I'm going to download uh, the latest version, 5.6.19. And now we're just going to open the folder location again. Uh, right click to extract all. And then we're going to say show extracted files when completed. Next. And now we have this window right here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the STN firmware updater.exe. You don't need to run this as an administrator or anything like that. Just double click on it. And we're going to see where it popped up. Why didn't why didn't it pop up? That's not a good sign. Here we go. All right. There we go. I actually accidentally have two of these windows open, so I'm going to close the first one. And now what you can see is we've got COM port selected, COM port 5. And now over here, this is a very important step. Otherwise, this is not going to work. 
we're going to select our baud rate and we're going to select it to 115,200. That's going to be our baud rate. And what we can do now is we can, you know, double check, make sure that it's plugged into our computer uh, and we'll have a little yellow light on it uh, just like that. And we're just going to click upload firmware. It's going to connect to the device, connection successful, and now it's uploading the firmware. You can see my serial number and hardware revision right there. We do have a valid firmware present as well. All right, so the firmware upload was successful. It resets the device on its own, and then uh, it says that the firmware update was successful. So that's all you need to get this thing to be super reliable. The good thing is that, um, you know, while they don't send out email updates or anything like that, if you have any connection issues while you're connecting to your car, you can just go over to the OBD Link EX support channel over here, and you can get the latest firmware whenever uh, you need to. All right, so I hope this video was helpful in getting you set up with your OBD Link EX and getting it ready for Forescan so you can start doing all those awesome modifications to your car. If you have any questions about this video, please feel free to drop a comment below. I'd love to help you out down there. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more awesome content like this. But until the next one, take care.